the way you, you can then import into your Rodstar program. Um, another useful section of the program is the, is the setup, which allows you to change your system of units. Uh, you can specify uh, the spreadsheet that you want the program to create when you run in batch. Running in batch allows you to have the program run a whole bunch of cases for you automatically by simply selecting more than one file when you select open file. You can also change your defaults for the uh, well for each time you run the program. For example, if you put in a company name here, every time you type data for a new well, the program will automatically uh, put put this name in for you. The same thing for electricity cost. The same thing for the oil gravity and so forth. So let's say we had 30 30 API gravity by default. The program will from now on put in 30 every time we start a new case. Um, you know, you can do the same thing for any other input, and this saves a lot of time because, you know, you don't have to um, change any, you know, the, the variables that are the same in most wells. Uh, you can also design your output here by clicking on output options, and you can select um, what you what pages you want to see on the on the output. Uh, you can also uh, put in your own pump unit information or you can customize the pump unit list. You know, there are two items under the pump unit options. The measure pump unit list allows you to put in your own custom pump unit information. Um, all you have to do is click on the plus to add a new unit. Uh, the program allows you to put in uh, information for any available pump unit type including uh, grooves, low profile, Mark II, air balance and long stroke units which you can also use to simulate hydraulic units and you, you need to put in your gearbox rating, structural rating, maximum stroke length and also the dimensions of the unit. For the articulating inertia, if you don't know what that is, you can simply copy what the program shows for a Lufkin unit for example. Um, you can see this number by the way when, you, uh, when, you, when you're in rod starting you include speed variation. Um, this number actually doesn't make any difference in XDIAX, so you can actually put in zero for this number, but you can put in all the pump unit dimensions here um, in, in the program, and there is built-in help. For example, if you're in this field, you don't know what it means, you press F1, the program will give you help on that item. Um, anyway, uh, once you put a pump unit in, it'll show up in this list, and then you can select it. Uh, when you go to the pump unit window, it's the first item on the list under manufacturers is the measure unit uh, option. Um, you can also do the same thing with rods. Uh, you can put in a, a, a new rod grade that the program may not show. And, and all you have to do is uh, put in the manufacturer name, the tensile strength, and the method of stress analysis that the manufacturer recommends. If it's a single bar, you can uh, check this box to say it's a single bar. But once you put it in, it'll, you'll see that show up in the program. Um, under expert diagnostic analysis, there is a number of uh, options that you can set, uh, and depending on what the, you want the program to do here, what you want the program to fix, and so forth. And also, you can set a target pump intake pressure so that if you have IPR data, the program can tell you how much more production you can get if you pump the well off. And that's a quick uh, synopsis of how to run XDIAC.